Welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. And today I've got a pretty good sized Dollar Tree haul for you. And I have an Alex. There's his body and his little tail. Um, I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you. It's a mix of some crafty bits and some Christmas stuff that I was able to locate. Yes, I got my hair cut this morning. I'm a mess. And coffee is pumpkin spice in my fall cup. Hey buddy. Maybe he'll come see us in a minute. This will be my only Dollar Tree haul this week. Um, so I'm going to put it all in one because I've got some crafty things I want to get out. So let, let us begin, shall we? And this is a couple stores. I found some P McCormick's, McCormick's pumpkin spice seasoning. I love this stuff. And for a dollar, that's a good deal. And I use it all the time at this time of year and it's cinnamon ginger nutmeg and allspice that's it so i got pumpkin spice i picked up oh guys first of all it's a turkey and it says eat ham is that not adorable <laughs> i'll put this out at thanksgiving for sure because you got to eat ham on thanksgiving I found these oh and I have been stopping I have stopped buying these bags because I have so many but this one was just perfect and it says live happy and it's um like a plasticky material so it'll be good for makeup or pens even um I'm gonna be giving one away in my 5,000 subscriber giveaway that should be up this week as well so I grabbed two of these. Um, I think they would be perfect for like journaling or your bullet journal or taking crafty stuff with you because it's a nice heavy and I love the gold zipper. So I grabbed two of those. One it will be given away. I picked up another package of these. I seem to have misplaced a few for my pork rinds basically. So I just grabbed an extra pack of those. I found, I had to get a replacement of this, but this is like half the size of the other one. It's a dispenser pump. I think I left my other one at my cousin's house, so I'll have to get it. But what I use, what I use this for is I put rubbing alcohol in here. And when I'm using my Cricut to adhere to like glass, metal, or plastic, I put rubbing alcohol to get any of the oils from my hands. And so you pump this. And it brings all the liquid, it, you know, brings some liquid up into here. So I just put like a, a cotton round and then clean it. You could also put like um, micellar water in here, nail polish remover. Kind of bomb that they made them so small. I know the other one was twice this size, but I needed a replacement and it's fine. So I grabbed that. I found the Sassy and, Sassy and Chic. It's coming out with some neat stuff. Today I saw at um, my last Dollar Tree that I went to, they had out, like if you wore a tank top that was sheer, like I guess they're called nipple covers. They're like band-aids that you put on your boobs so you don't show through if you don't have a bra on. I'm wearing a bra. But they were selling those. And then they had some fashion tape to like, if your shirt opened or shut. I was kind of surprised to see that in this brand. And then they have these bristle brushes. They have them for foundation. This one is for contouring. And then they have one for eyeshadow. I'm going to open it up. I like these brushes. I actually have one for foundation. I don't wear a lot of foundation, so I don't use it frequently. Um, just because of my skin. But it's a really soft brush, but it's very compact. So you could do like a good line, just... You can also use it for your eyebrows if you had bigger eyebrows. So I grabbed that makeup brush for one dollar. You can't beat it. I'll use it. I found Crayola. I know some folks were hauling the lip gloss. I found nail polish, but look at these stickers for your nails. They're rainbows. And my company, we participate in uh, Pride every year so I can wear these on my nails. So I grabbed these, which I think are perfect. So I'll just put those with my nail stuff until then. Nothing exciting. I just got some acetaminophen. I got, I thought it was a sinus infection. I went to the Minute Clinic and she said, no, this is definitely a virus that's going around. It's just, I was yesterday, it was really headachy and sinusy and sore throat. Today I'm feeling better. So I'm, but I had a little bit of a fever. So we're alternating 
ibuprofen and Tylenol. So I needed some more Tylenol. I mean, I'm fine. It's just, you know how it rolls. I wanted to try this Mentos Mint Chapstick. I love mint chapstick. I have um, chapstick brand in the peppermint candy cane. Oh, it's so good. I just love it. Especially in the wintertime, I feel like it helps a lot. So I grabbed the Mentos to try. I won't open it yet. I need to finish the one I have in my car. But I picked up this Mentos in mint. They had all different flavors. That's for me. I got this to play with the cat. Now, Wellington does not fall for this shenanigans. But I feel like Alex will play with the laser pointer. So we're going to try um, later to see if I can get him. It's a red laser pointer dual function. I don't know what that means. Oh, it's a flashlight and a pointer. He's in the window waiting for, um, uh, Wellington's outside wanting to come in. So we'll see if he'll play with this. Al Wellington wants no part of the laser light, but maybe Alex will. I picked up, oh, look what I found. It's an infinity scarf and the, it's the red and black buffalo check and the white and black. Is it infinity? I don't know if it's infinity. Let's see. No, maybe. No, not infinity. It's a cowl. So on one side is the black and white buffalo check. And then when you turn it around, it's the red. If you can hear that, that's Wellington. He wants in. Give me a second. Okay, I'm back. Um, it's the red and black and the white and black. And it is... Um, like a fleece. Oh, this is warm. It's cozy. And I feel like you could wear it so you only see the white by tucking it in this way or the red, or you could do it so a little of both shows, which I like. Oh, that's nice. It's very soft too. Um, Definitely I'll enjoy that this winter, especially working at the Buckeye games. I'll wear the red and black side out and because it gets cold. It's definitely an outdoor stadium, the shoe where the Buckeyes play. I only have seen one of these, but anyway, it's cold. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just went on a tangent there. It's cold and we have to dress appropriately. All right, let's see. What else we got over here? Oh, that's for crafting. I need more coffee, guys. I need more coffee. And I don't want the cat getting involved. Hi, Wellington. Here's Wellington. He just came inside. Can you say hi? No. He can't say hi. I picked up some Halloween candy for my little cousin because I just can't help myself. I grabbed the two, two packages of the Kool-Aid Goulade Popping Candy. I think it's like um, Pop Rocks. But it's Kool-Aid brand. I thought they were cute. And each one comes with three packages. Um, I think it's all Scary Berry. So I grabbed each kid one of those. And then for them to share, look at these lollipops. They're black with flavored, or with gum in the middle. Honey, don't do that. And the flavors are black cherry and black grape. And there's 13 in here, so I'll just give them each a couple and then take the rest to work. I thought that was super fun. For a dollar, that is, and they're like the size of a blow pop. Oh, what brand is this? Uh, Columbina. Uh, from Columbia. Yeah. So, yeah. And these are Best Buy May of 2021. So, I grabbed that candy. That's about it. That's, well, unless I, oh, no, that's a lie. I bought them some Jelly Belly, little pack of Jelly Bellies. I just love them. Okay. Now we're getting into, sorry, the cat's rubbing on the, on the tripod. He's silly. All right, I fixed it. What do you need? He just came in and he's apparently needing something. I gave him a treat already. All right, crafty stuff. I picked up three of these. And let me tell you, this stuff is dirty at this store. Now, they will hold like a tea light, but I'm not going to do that. I got three because they are different heights. And I don't know if I want to put 
Um, I'm thinking of, first of all, getting them through the dishwasher because they're gross, but then attaching a pumpkin to them, to each. I have three of the metallic looking pumpkins and then I could set them together. Or if I can find a small plate to attach to the top so that I could use them as pedestals. But I like them that they're three separate heights. I've seen these there before, but I've never seen all three at my store and I never bought them because I was like, if I buy one, I'll never remember to buy the other one. Hey, buddy. So I did not. Dubby, you want to come back up here? Hey, he's sitting in front of the, all right, there you go. Up there, there you go. He was sitting under the camera. Rub oh, did you say hi? All right, holiday stuff. Christmas holiday. I gotta bring it closer. My one store was pretty well stocked, so I picked up a few things. I got a gift for my cousin. He's getting ready to retire from his job, and it's the Pocket Homebrew Handbook. I'm gonna give this to him, and it's... Um, I don't know what it is. It's a book on hand brew on homebrew 75 recipes for the aspiring backyard brewer. So these are recipes and maybe he'll get into homebrew. He likes um, beer. So we'll see. So I grabbed that book. I thought it was super cute for a dollar. And then on the gift side, I also picked up two more pair of these socks, uh, the unicorn and the sloth, because I feel like these are going to be perfect with some hand or foot lotion or something, but look at the size difference in these two pair. Is that weird? Because I feel like it's weird. And they should both be the same size, but whatevs. So I grabbed two of those. I saw that a, somebody had hauled some Cutex, like foot cream, Cutex brand. So I'm hoping to catch some of that so I can um, put it with these. So these will go with my gift little basket haul thing. Now, I picked up two of these. They're vase filler is what they are. This says it's for fall, but I mean, this is Christmas colors to me, so I got it for Christmas decorating. And I'm getting ready to put up a video this week where I made a wooden beaded garland, and I thought that this stuff, if you didn't want wood, let's say you don't do country in your house. This, I think, will be equally fun. So I'm going to show how to do it with these. So that's coming up. And then the same, I'll probably do the same at Christmas time with that one. But I thought that this was fun. Now there, and there's not, for these balls to be covered in glitter, that's not a lot of fallout there in the corner. So I think they'll be okay. Um, but you can obviously spray them with some clear adhesive or hairspray or something. Now, I found for this year, they also brought out the wooden ornaments for Christmas. I'm very excited for this. Um, we have some stockings, Christmas trees, and there's five in each pack. Christmas trees, snowflakes. Oh, I love the snowflakes. And the holiday bell. I love these. And even if I don't use them all this year, this is definitely something I would hold on to for crafting purposes in the future. So I grabbed all four that I saw at my store. Kind of hoping for a Santa hat, but I didn't see them. It's all good. Um, I found, and this is in the Crafter Square brand, the laser tape. This is always fun to wrap presents, to decorate with. There's not a whole lot on each spool. Five yards. And I don't know if that's total or per spool, but it's fun. And it's like the holographic little three packs of tape. So I enjoy that. I picked it up. I buy these about every two years or so. Um, I like to grab two packs when I'm doing some little crafting. These bows are just perfect for like everything. You can tie them on. Most times I cut that off and just hot glue them onto things. Um, but they're perfect. They're the great, a great size. And they're already done. So there's not much I have to do, which makes me even more happy. So I grabbed a couple of those for just my regular crafting supply. I did pick up the, some stickers in the Santa hat. They had Santa hats, they had snowflakes, Christmas trees, and gingerbread men. But I just, I like the hats. And what I'm thinking about doing is making for my planner um, some uh, 
paper clips to mark the date, you know, the page. I would just have to back it with something different, but yeah. So I love these, and they come with 12 pieces. And that, I found the wire frame. I hope that this isn't it. I mean, it's okay. It's a candy cane, but they've had this out for years. I was really hoping for a Santa hat, but then I thought I could take the witch's hat if I could find another one and make an elf or a Santa hat. Um, I have, I've seen them one time and one time was it and I haven't seen them since, but if I come across them, I will grab two more for Christmas. But for now, candy cane it is. It's all right. I mean, I can decorate it and make it pretty, but I was hoping for something different this year. They've had this out for a couple of years. Um, something new or at least new to me. Uh, maybe you guys have seen these. I have not are the words the metal words and for Christmas in this piece joy and believe and they're the same like they have out for fall I grabbed two sets of these um, to do my holiday crafting because like you you know you know if you see it you get it especially at the Dollar Tree because it just may not ever come back um, believe is my favorite but I like to piece some joy, so we'll see what I can come up with to use these. But I grabbed two packages, and these are just like the um, the ones that they have out for Hall for Thanksgiving. I picked up one of these wooden ornaments to make a sign of some sort or some type of hanging something or other. I like that. Um, they have these out this year, these laser cut signs, and this says "Peace on Earth." I just like this a lot these were these are nice and big um, let it snow I love the whimsical feel of that and the little snowflake and then they have Mary and bright and I am kind of smitten with these I don't know if they would fit on here no too big believe would fit on here or joy but this won't so yeah, I grabbed those, and I think that's it for this haul. That was a lot of stuff. Now I've got a lot of crafting to do to get it out for you. Um, Christmas won't be out for a while, but I'm going to start working on some more fall, Halloween, Thanksgiving type craft projects. I've got a few things coming out this week. Definitely a Halloween pillow that I'm going to sew up, and the garland. The wooden garland should be out this week, and I'm not sure what else, but... That's everything that I bought at the Dollar Tree. So I hope you have a good one, and I will talk to you later. Bye. Whoop, whoop. See you later. Bye.